objectives. They are going for kills. Whereas to Echo Spawn, HK, the LMS, they play a much slower pace game. Mm -hmm. They are trying to focus more on those objectives and that setup. So can mission, challenge, artifact, slow down kind of heavy the, pressure uh, and snowballing the game. And now Camille locked in, Hong Kong attitude, debating their options here on the final pick. Looks like. Okay, yeah, I thought it was two audience. I thought we might see the swip swap, but it's not going to happen. It will be the gangplank in the end. And this is interesting, Andrew, because now, once again, we see so much explosive pick potential on one side. You got the Elise, the Camille, the Lux. Caitlyn traps to follow up as well. And an Akali, of course, is just lethal in her own right. But on the opposite side, you have a GPL, you have a Lissandra, and you have the be able to team up with Crash and force DNK away. Kick does connect. Cocoon follow up. DNK will get knocked up. And go up, but it is going to be forced to come down. Luckily, Scryer's Bloom right there, so well played, but is going to have to give up. Too low on health now to try to contest this. Give Elise access onto the bottom side of the map if they want to play for anything onto the Zyre Rakan. Normally, the lane be assumed to be the aggressive one, but this is very poorly timed aggression. If Venus manages to land a snare on the back side of this, could turn. Kylie backing up, but has no mana. Unified, they're just trying to force the wave out, but DNK is on the way in. That's fair. Analysis. Um, kind of. Oh, here we go. Engage going in. Kaiwen going to find the double mock up. The gangplank all coming in clutch here. Venus is just going to get taken down. First blood crashes on the way for the follow up. DNK coming over the wall, trying to mitigate as much as he can. Crash not going to try to go in on that one, but fantastic use of the GPL. Great communication from the side of HK. It's exactly what I said was going to happen in Champ Select. Level 6 come around and you make a play on bottom lane because this duo this will be way too hop over kick. aggressive. Here you no. go. No! Kick out! Might still be able to finish out though. He has GP behind Spite as well as Conqueror Prox. So everybody's still going to die. The Lee Sin is so powerful. And now the Lux will get dropped too. Not locked up under tower. Manages to get that. But here comes Hani trying to clean up a play. Body block is there from Kai Wing. Well played by the side of HKA. But Celebrity could not afford to push up that far. Not been going well for them so far. Can just take this one down. Use the Rift Herald top lane. Try to break open this landing phase. But in the meantime, the Constellation they're going to have to give over to the enemy team is the Infernal Drake. Priority on that spawn. And it is a 4k deficit just about in this game. 3.5. They All need to get gold. Maybe they can hope to get a little bit more of the gold back in their favor as they move in on this second tower. But the GPL is going to mostly stop that in its tracks. Celebrity has a lot of confidence to stay here. However, oh. any team with Lissandra in it can kick off a fight any time they want. Yeah, it's super, super easy. The, you know, the idea range. of the VCS is a prove it region. Like, you want to make a mechanical outplay, prove that you can do it, and then we'll respect it. And right now, I feel like the VCS are the team that have to prove Wait, it. are we just going to keep going? Yeah, they got to prove something. Wait, they're... Okay, Loki are recalling right now, but this tower, it's not going to go down fast. There's no AD carry in the area, but it is going down to about half HP now. Actually, don't actually, I, I don't think that was worth from HP. As embarrassing as it, is, as it is to miss a laser, much more acceptable on a Lux support. Oh, now, oh that's there we go. Ooh. Difference maker. Uh, DNK goes up. Goes, what are you doing? Goes down. Goes out. <laughs> And that's the catalyst we were waiting for. 5k goal lead for HKA. Could move in to take the Baron. Could look to finally break the mid lane tower. Yeah, I mean, we were waiting to see a team make the cross. It was Celebrity. HKA right there. Big oh, damage. Alti comes out. Celebrity's dead too. Ask and you shall receive. We wanted to know how long it was going to take. Instantly the game just exploded. They're just going to go straight into the Baron now. This team was literally doing nothing. And they're like, okay, I guess we can just outplay them straight up. Now they move on to this objective. DNK going to be dead. Celebrity not going to be able to join the fight. It would at max be a 3v5. But Hong Kong attitude are so strong right now. One tower going to go down for the Camille in the mid uh, meantime. Lux going to hold on to that vision as long as she can. Maybe a hope, a prayer, a Lux ult. Where is it going to go? No. No. Nice try. Siege, because, of course, she can just place all her traps around and make it so you can't walk up to the tower. You just constantly rotate on her. Crash. Not. Crash goes in on the Elise. Elise now trying to retreat. The ultimate coming off onto the side. They're trying to find the fight. They jumped back into the laser, but they're getting knocked out. Crash still alive. The GP looking to come through. Celebrity. No, ultimate. Uh -oh. oh, uses his eyes to cancel it out. HKA going to break the top lane tier two. Crash will walk away with his life. After finding the kill, Hani already dead. Huge advantage for the side of HKA. I love it. Crash is putting the team on his back now saying, I'm going to make the plays. He's going to try to take that fight instead, focusing on wave clear. Ender, I'm going to ask you to tell me a story here. Now, okay. I'm going to hold that thought because they're sieging. You're going to tell me a story in a little bit. Whoa. Game plank all comes down. Luxalt to just try to clear the wave. They're just going to break the base up, but they're just going to okay. walk right in. Crash. Jumping into the face of the enemy. Meanwhile, Artifact trying to solo out 3Z. This could be the difference maker, but he's getting lower and lower. This is not a favorable fight. Artifact now running for his life, but that's a shutdown. Big outplay. Artifact was able to kill the barrel right there, which was the difference maker. Uh, so they have to figure out some way to stop this from happening. Probably have to play off a good pick. Could be this. Could be this one. Crash running for his life. Of course, has PA. They overcommit for this one, though. Could turn against the mission and Kai Wing waiting. 
fog of war. Fike trying to kick off the flash oh. forward. Elise goes up, has really no way out though. Comes down in the middle of the team. That is definitely not what they wanted. Baron has now respawned. Jungler is now dead. That's going to be the second Baron for HKA. Maybe this is the time for the Lux Miracle Steal, but the rest of the team don't even seem that interested in coming to contest the objective. This is so massive for Hong Kong Attitude. Just the ability now to be able to get themselves the best seating possible ah. moving in. Because remember, 2017, this team was embarrassed, honestly, not to be able to make it out of the play-in stage to set themselves up for the best possible success by finishing first. Now with the Baron, with an inhibitor already, the siege to come is the one that will cement them in first seed. Second Baron, 28 minutes into the game. Crash. You see them playing over the wall here, trying to land a cocoon or a binding. This Crash. is the one. They're just taking out. Can they just get the GA to start this off? Has been knocked out, but they've already used the ult in exchange. Rakan buying so much time for the rest of his team to just continue forward, and it's going to turn against them. Crash is still alive. But oh. in the base. That's not what they wanted, but he gets one back. Still getting a one for one when all those resources are burned. In the midst of the team, Lissandra comes out, celebrity in trouble. Now flashes out to safety. Artifact doing what he can to buy more time. Artifact, can he be the difference maker? He's invisible for right now. He dashes through, but it's not enough. 3Z will grab the kill. Baron Buff now pushing in. HKA should just end the game. Hong Kong attitude have everything they need to close. Only two members defending. Mission's gonna recall and look for the teleport on in to make that first minion immune to damage. They're looking for the end right here, Dracos. It all comes down to this push. Venus caught out and taken down. Celebrity versus the world. I don't think it's going to be enough. Setting their sights on him instead. Unified sets his eyes on the prize. The TP's now coming in. And the third seed from the LMS will take down the second seed for the VCS to secure first part in this group. That was what we were finally waiting for because, you know, the early game was slow from them, but they had the composition to attack bottom lane as soon as 3Z got level 6 on that gangplank and attack it, they did. They flipped what should have been a really tough matchup for Unified and Kaiwing and were able to turn that pressure.